Hello everyone, as you can see there is Toshiba Satellite L50-C-1 Golf X-Ray. What are you going to do today? We're going to swap the hard drive with SSD. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's start. First, put it upside down. And then we need to open up all the screws that you can see. So we're going to start from this side. These two first which I'm holding the battery two screws now we're going to take out this battery and then take out this optical disc right now we need a kind of flat that's what i always like open it up halfway and then sputter it lift it up like this So it's already open up. Leave it on the side. Now we can get access to the hard drive. Open this up and slide it downwards like that. And lift it out. That's the actual 2.5 inch set of hard drive. Okay. Now I'm gonna take out this SSD. From Kingstone 120 GB much more faster than the ordinary traditional hard drive and 2.5 inch so this is fully compatible you can keep this caddy uh, it seems much more thicker than that but anyway I'm gonna keep it okay put this spike in there Connect it back, push it down first and then slide in. Absolutely fine. Yeah, it's fully connected. Now keep this plastic pad in the gap so in that way it doesn't move or doesn't give any shake. So there is no chance to get disconnected. By the way, this laptop doesn't have any cooling fee which is uh, quite strange without cooling fan you know that's not perfect anyway so now it's simple we're going to put it back this cover we're going to start from the back side and push it downwards it's going to make kind of cracking noise but this is absolutely normal now second thing is that one into the place Good. And also the battery. Right. Put the screw from the side way. Three.
in a second I'm going to show you how to get into BIOS and change the settings to reload the new Windows into the new SSD so stay with me all right so now the physical job is already done we put the SSD in so we need to reinstall the system in this occasion I'm going to plug in Windows 10 bootable thumb drive into the USB port and connect the charger because it's going to take a while and press the power button immediately f1 or f2 randomly so in that way we get into bios here yeah. press ok and then this is the actual main screen you can see the details what is in there or not about the ram ssd or hdd whatever it is so we're going to go to security first that's the main option because we must need to make it disable which is already disabled but by default that is always enable so make it disable and TMP enable you can leave it as it is then go to power management to check if there is anything else all right so everything is fine here we don't need to touch anything if the settings is like that then go to advanced by pressing the down arrow and then in here we can change the boot option so click on change boot order and then from here I selected so from here for Windows 10 I will always leave, leave this hard drive on the top I will explain the reason because sometimes when you choose USB even after fully installed when the system needs a restart it goes back to back of the installation process again and again you know it's very difficult to skip it and complete the installation so that's the reason I kept it HDD SSD the first choice now I'm gonna press OK and go to system configuration from here the boot option you must need to change it to CSM boot okay that's the first one and now press F10 to save it to enter and keep pressing F2 it's gonna come up yeah so from here manually I'm gonna choose USB data traveler that's the one choose it hit enter and the system would boot it up from the USB as you can see the logo okay So from here, I'm going to choose English United Kingdom. Rest of them, I'm going to leave as it is. Click Next, Install. So now we're going to accept the terms and condition. Click on Next. Go to Advanced. From here, as you can see, 111.8 GB. That's the SSD, which is Kingston. I don't need to make new partition because I want to leave only one partition. Now I'm going to hit on next and the system would create this partition while the process is going on. Okay, so that's how you upgrade SSD for Toshiba Satellite L50. And I hope rest of the process you know, you just need to follow the instruction. Still, if you do have any question, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. And please, if you like the video, thumbs up. And if you do subscription, that would really help me. Thank you so much. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.